M0 FXP, welcome back to my videos on the Kenwood D75 and the Icon 52. This is the new Plus model. I'm trying to angle it to you. So the first thing I'll say is the screen on the 75 is a sharper black. With the, the new 52, it's, it's quite a sort of, I don't know what the word is, it's quite a washed out sort of black. But it's a bigger screen and if I'm in single mode, we're in dual mode on both radios at the moment. If I hold down main, go to single mode. Uh, so there's DR mode, listening to my DV Mega Hotspot, and then we're showing the GPS location. If we go to single mode on the Kenwood, just press F, then A, B. It will, when it gets a lock, it will do the similar thing. It will show the GPS on the screen. Now, if I want to use the waterfall scope, we can go menu, across to scope, enter, and we're going to see the scope. And of course, it is very pleasing to the eye. You can't do that on the Kenwood. The other thing is if I back out from the scope, pressing the VFO twice, and then go to the menu and go down to picture, enter. We can load a photograph now. And once the photograph's been loaded, we can go quick and we can send it by TX. You can't do that with the D75 or D74. What can you do that's that's additional? Well, you have a built-in TNC with the Kenwood D75. So that's, you know, I'm not going to show you the whole setup, but you can you can get things like WinLink and even via Bluetooth, you can start sending packets. I know there's new functionality with the Bluetooth on the 52, but I haven't had time to test that. The other one is if we go back to dual mode here, now let's go to the B band and to VFO mode. When we cycle through the frequencies with the right hand arrow, you'll see that eventually we'll get to HF. Now you cannot listen to HF bands on the 52. The other thing is price wise. These are selling about £630, the 52. And the Kenwood is £800. You might, a little bit less. Uh, battery wise, I think, you know, they, you're always going to struggle with your battery on a high-end device, you know, like this. It, you've got a colour screen, lots of functionality, and you, I think you'll get seven or eight hours out of these. The nice thing, what the ICOM have done, uh, they've made sure that you can interchange all the batteries with the 51 and the 50, so that's, you know, that's convenient, and the base charger. Even though this has got this silvery colour, uh, it, it does have the normal ICOM battery, the 272. You could get the big 307 if you want. They both have broadcast radio. They both do airband, marine band really well, PMR, all that kind of stuff, GMRS. They're going to work great. With the Kenwood D75, you have a full keypad. Um, that's, that's a big deal. A lot of people really want that. So, you know, I like them both. It's very hard to choose because the 52 is, a, is, is, a, is quite a big hand set in your hand it's smaller with the Kenwood and the 51 is smaller more more of a pocket radio this is almost like a base station um, but they've got GPS Bluetooth all that kind of stuff if we go menu go to GPS they both have SD cards GPS info when you've got a lock it will show up on here and oh, there it is it just the, the satellites just popped into view and that's nice so I don't have a preference. They're both good sets. They're both well made. Uh, you let me know. I'm. I wish that the screen didn't have that sort of. See the way it's flickering that washy out look because the fifth, the other fifty two that I've still got at the moment um, is blacker, as you can see. Now if I go to the menu and go to display settings, I'm going to menu across to set. Go to display, display, and then we're going to go up. Uh, brightness let's match them up so we'll go menu set up to display down uh, brightness five okay back back um, dim screen I'm gonna turn that on but just because it's on on the other one back back um, then we got the dim timer what we got on the other one hold so let's just put it on hold 
back and back. Uh, brightness dim. Did we already do this? Ah, so put them both on seven. Let's have a look. Screensaver. Now you don't have a screensaver. You can change the background color on both. So I will show in a sec. Let's just back out. It's you know, I, I think that the 52, the older model, has a sharper, this is the Japanese model, has a sharper black. You can see that the, the new model is flashing. Just one last look at the settings. Make sure I haven't... Backlight. That's just on or us, how long it's on for. Brightness. Yeah, I think the same setting. So we'll go to the color change. Of course, that's quite bright. And then we'll go menu. Yeah, I mean, I th I I think you can see it. It's sharper on the older screen. I think we're going to go menu. Let's go to set, and I think I did see a contrast in here. Now let's see if we've got contrast on the older model. Uh, right, it says standard, so we go. Sorry. Let's go to standard. Back out. Just with the menu. I still feel that it's sharper and more defined on the older model. Let's go to dark. Yeah, and that does catch up. Yeah, I think that catches up. We'll go menu. Dark. I think it all, it all looks better with the dark, I think. So there you are. I mean... I'm not sure if they've, if the improvement of the screen is is a is a an improvement myself. You let me know what your experience is. I know that they've added a screen screensaver to this device. Bye for now. Seven three.